What happens when your patient's estrogen levels come back too high? Or she might even have low estrogen levels, but compared to her progesterone, they're way out of balance. Too much estrogen, not enough progesterone. Then you need the estrogen, the estrogen detox smoothie. Hi, whoop, hi, <laughs> my name is Jessica Drummond. I'm from the Integrative Pelvic Health Institute, and we teach physical therapists and nutrition professionals all kinds of nutrition and coaching strategies for giving the best possible care to their women, their patients with women's health challenges. So today we're going to talk all about properly detoxing your estrogen with food. So this smoothie is really de delicious and it's so cleansing. One of the things that studies have shown is that when you add more cruciferous vegetables, things like Brussels sprouts and broccoli and kale to the diet, then estrogen detoxes to a form that's less toxic and less likely to cause cancer. So we're gonna start with a big old hunk of kale in this smoothie. Don't worry, this might look scary, but it's really delicious. Then we're gonna add some cilantro, which actually can help bind to heavy metals like um, mercury and get them out of your body. Then we wanna add some cucumber. This is for some hydration. So really, when you're detoxing, a lot of times women don't drink enough water, especially if they have any trouble with incontinence. So let's take about, oh, you could use the whole cucumber or you could use anywhere from a half to a whole. For some flavor, let's add a pear. That's gonna give you a little sweetness to make the smoothie taste good because you want your patients to enjoy this for their breakfast. Let's throw that pear in here. Again, you can use anywhere from a half to a whole depending on how sweet you would like it. Lemon is very alkalizing. Interesting because it's an acid, but when you digest it, it actually helps the intracellular environment be more alkaline, which again is very clean, cleansing. And in these high speed blenders, you can like throw the whole lemon in. You can throw the rind, you can throw the seeds, it makes it super easy. So again, anywhere from a half to a whole, anywhere from a half to a whole avocado to make it creamy and delicious. And we're gonna add just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Again, that really stimulates the liver, just a pinch to um, detoxify, really get things going in, in that um, to detoxify the estrogen properly. So we pour some water in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the blender, blend this up and make it a great tasting creamy smoothie that your patients will enjoy for breakfast. All right, and with these kind of blenders, you can take the top right off and put this plunger in. That makes it easier to blend it. All right. What I love about this smoothie is that the color is so bright green, it just makes you feel like you're doing something good for your body, which, you know, feeling like you're doing good for your body is half the battle as well. So let's pour this in. It smells really good. It smells very fresh. It's got a nice kind of sharpness and freshness to it, and it looks so bright green. Mmm, that's one of the most delicious ways to properly help your patients detox their estrogen. Again, my name is Jessica Drummond. Thanks so much for joining me today in my kitchen, having some nice, delicious, bright green smoothies, and I will see you next time.